right, guitar solo. Let's do it. So that's as far as I got with it before the fade out comes in. Uh, we've done so many songs with fade outs at Rock Project now. I mean, we'll work out an ending. I don't know what it would be. Uh, Lindsay Buckingham live with Fleetwood Mac, like just improvises and riffs over that bass line for absolutely ages. And Stevie Nicks dances around like a crazy person. Um, so we'll have to figure out something. But um, anyway. <laughs> So you start here on the third fret up from the capo, but technically the fifth. And you're playing E and E at the same time. And building up, obviously. Then when the drums come in, I'm doing this sort of rhythm. Then you're going to shift it up an octave. So I'm now doing E on this fret so it's the f 17th fret but it's technically the 19th because uh, no it's technically the 15th because of the capo bit of vibrato to give some sort of movement oh out of focus there we go, right. So once we've got up to this um, seven, uh, 15th, 17th, whatever fret, I'm getting my pinky tucked in underneath every now and then. So I'm going open. Then you're gonna go like this. So this is on, that's on the B string now, what I just did there, so you go. Then you're going to go, so that's again tapping my pinky down there. So this is what we've got so far. This for ages. Side up. Pinky. Then you're going to go like this. So that is here, technically the 17th fret on the E, and the 19th. So that is a full bend and you leave it up there for ages. Um, and add vibrato. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you're going to go still on the same fret. So all of what happens on the 19th, 17th and 19th fret is. Oh yeah, and then this. So you're going to go another full bend on 19. Then go over to 20 on the B string now and you pull off to the 
17th. So you got... Then you're going to come up to the 19th on the um, G string now, and you're going to hold down 17 on the B and do a unison bend. So that's when you're doing this note and bending up to it. This bit, next bit is tricky. So you got... So that was... Uh, that is 14, no, 16, hammer on and pull off to 19 on the G string, up to 19 on the D, and then back to 16 on the G. Then you go back to that unison bend that we did before. Get in focus, come on. That's it. I meant the camera, not me. Um, and then when you bend this time, tuck your pinky in. So you're doing 20 on the B string. So you've got... No. You kind of just add it in whenever, really. I mean, like, um, so if I do that. Then after that, when the vocals come back in, uh, well, like after I've done that, really all that happens after that in the track at least is Lindsay just starts riffing around here again. That isn't what happens in the track. It's quite hard to tell. All I can really hear is this. To be honest, um, but so just play around with it, really. No, that went really major. Didn't mean it to. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Um, the uh, those parts I showed you first are the most important licks. What happens after you get to the high bit? Come on, is um. Again, it's open to interpretation and improvisation. Make it your own sort of thing. Um, but it's a really, really fun solo to play that one. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions and you want me to show you any licks in more detail, um, then let's do it in the lesson. Cheers.